Before we get into the text tools of Swift Publisher, let's take a quick look at the final product we want. So our background design is complete, and all that is left is to add the text portions of our flyer. Let's first switch back to the foreground layer of our project. Remember, the foreground layer is for text, and the background layer is for the design. Our text box tool is located next to the drawing tools in the toolbar. When we click and hold this button, we actually see that there are also tools for vertical text and circular text. So for now, let's talk about the text box tool. Let's activate it. Move the cursor to the canvas, click and hold, and draw the text box. Let's paste in our text. The red cross to the right lets us know that the pasted text is too long for the current text box. There are two ways we can fix that. Either resize the existing box or create what is called a linked text box. Let's do the latter by clicking on the red cross and drawing a second text box. As you can see, the text is now divided between the two boxes and any changes we make to one affects the text in the other. So let's go through and add the rest of our text. If we want to manually edit our text, all of the tools we need can be found in the Text tab of the Inspector. And there are two different ways to edit text. One is to double-click on it and select a certain portion, editing only the selected segment. The other is to select the entire text box to edit all of the text inside. Back in the Inspector, we can change the font size, color, create lists, which we'll get to in a minute, change the alignment, adjust spacing, and wrap text around objects another feature we'll get to a bit later. Aside from editing text manually, Swift Publisher also supports editable text styles, a sort of text template that can be applied with just one click. To apply a text style, select a text box, click Text Styles, and choose one in the list. See the tutorial on text styles to learn how to set these up for your document. For now, let's go through and stylize all of our text. So our text is looking really good. But you know, with all the pictures behind it, Joe's English school just isn't really all that readable. The best way to fix that is to apply a shadow to our text. To do that, let's select the text box, jump over to the Appearance tab of the Inspector, and click the Shadow option. We can also change the direction, the color if necessary, the offset, and the feather. That looks much better. Let's jump down to the bottom portion of our document. We have a list that could really use some bullets. Swift Publisher lets us do that in just a couple of clicks. Let's select the text box with our list. Open the Text tab of the Inspector and choose a bullet type in the drop-down menu labeled Lists. And automatically, our list has bullets. Let's adjust that to bring it in line with the rest of the text. The last thing we need to do is add our picture of the girl reading. Let's open our Photos library. Drag and drop the picture to the canvas and resize the picture. Wait, why is she floating over our text? We need the text to flow around her. To fix this, we need to make sure our image is selected and place a check next to Object Causes Wrap in the inspector. This makes the text understand and flow around the edges of our image. Note that there are four different text wrap modes, and in addition, we can add space between the image and the text. That's it for our flyer.
Let's just click on the Preview Mode button to check it out without the guides and text box borders. Look good to you? Looks good to me. So let's get right to printing.